Hey everybody, Jeffrey Bangarang here, back with another tutorial. Now the setup I, your setup I have here today is a game that you can play to boost your motor skills and also your timing when it comes to rewarding behavior. So what I have here is I have a stopwatch, I have one bowl full of garbanzo or chickpeas, I have an empty bowl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the stopwatch and I'm going to see how many peas I can get from this bowl into this bowl in a minute. So actually, I can go... Yeah, let's keep it on the, the stopwatch, and I'll just see when it's been a minute. Let's go. All right, so that was a minute. Now, as you can see here, I have some other beans that I had to that I had to discard. So when I reached into the bowl to grab one, I actually grabbed two. So I put those off to the side. And also, this was the last one that I grabbed that didn't make it to the bowl by the time the one minute had passed. So let's count our beans and see how good I am. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 20, 22, 24, 26. So not quite one every two seconds. Um, so this is a game you can play, and I've set it up for myself pretty easy. Uh, we have a very large bowl here. We have a very large bowl here. Uh, so what I was trying to get was hand in, grabbing only one P, and when I pulled it out of the bowl, I only had one. So that's why these two got, got to start, because I reached and I grabbed two, and they came out of the bowl. So, um, so this is a great way to test your motor skills. That you, when it comes to clicker training, precision is key, and timing is everything. Half a second before the behavior, half a second after is not the behavior that you're looking to reinforce. So you want to have uh, good timing and good motor skills hand-eye coordination when it comes to seeing behavior and clicking right away. But you also have to have two distinct actions going on. The click and then the reach. You can't have clicking and reaching at the same time because the dog will most likely make the association on you reaching. So I've worked with this when usually when I train, I have my treat pouch. How I've come up how I've uh, got over this is that I'll actually have the clicker in my pocket and then I'll have my hand in my treat bag already so there's no chance for me to use any extra movements so all there is is just making sure that I don't move too soon out of my treat pouch after I click so with this game you're teaching yourself to click pause and then reach and then deliver uh, so you can set that up with your family. Training is a whole family thing. See how many peas you can get from one bowl to the next within a minute. Uh, since you are going to be using your clicker, you do want your dogs to be outside or where they can't hear the clicker because you don't want to lose the power. So when I was playing this game, Slacky was actually in the kitchen. Um, so I was clicking and showing her that, you know, and she would think, okay, that's where I get a treat. But she was in the kitchen, and that's not where she gets rewarded. So actually, I was showing her that the clicks can happen, but if you're not where you're, you need to be, then you don't get rewarded. So now that she's out there, I can click, and I can 
reinforcer out there. But that's something that's completely different. So using this game to boost your motor skills is a really good thing to do. Uh, pairing this with the game, 101 Ways to Play, will help you get your accuracy down when it comes to behaviors being shown. Knowing not only when to click, but knowing how to click and properly reinforce. So I hope this helps you out. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you need any help, feel free to call or message me. Um, thank you very much. Bye.